a decision now, not when everybody, all the other Republicans back down. She needs to make a decision now when it matters. Stand up for us. It's not worth putting someone who has credible allegations of that kind of violence against them in a seat of lifetime power over the lives of Americans, a majority of whom I believe are women. And that is terrifying to me. I was 12. I was 12 years old. He was 15. The fact that he was a teenager does not lessen anything, does not minimize the lifelong effects that I've lived with for 46 years. You want details? The details live in my body. We won't stand idly by as the Senate attempts to repeat the same mistakes that it made with another Yale alumna, Anita Hill. We stand with the countless women who have experienced sexual assault and violence. We are here to say that we are Yale Law School, and Yale Law School does not unequivocally support Brett Kavanaugh. We understand that our law school is a part of a large power structure in which a small group of well-connected and wealthy men run the entire legal landscape. And we are here to say that we oppose the hasty and incomplete process of Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation hearing and demand a fair process and that these women's stories are heard. Okay. I don't want to speak on this too long. But this Me Too movement is, is getting on my nerves. And Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles can see that it's a bullshit movement. And I keep saying this. There's only one solution. Only one solution to this Me Too movement. And it's to stop. Stop, stop hiring women. I don't care if it's your grandma. I don't care if it's your auntie, your mama. It doesn't matter. Stop hiring women. Okay? It's either that or you're going to have to screen women heavily. Because we have some females out here who, they're, they're not... They're not supporting me too. So my saying not not to hire women is a little bit harsh, but you'll have to go the route of screening these women. To screening them carefully, really, really carefully. Okay? Because th this this is getting really, really annoying. Because now that Mr. Kavanaugh is being selected to be a part of the Supreme Court, all these sexual allegations are coming out. So where were these people five years ago? Where were they ten years ago? This girl said she was molested at 12. Now, I'm not saying that females don't get molested and some of them, you know, they keep it to themselves. That is true. But... You're trying to tell me he's been doing this to so many people for this long? I can understand if he's been doing it to one female and she doesn't say anything because that does happen in many communities. But you're trying to tell me he did it to more than one female and not one female came out and said anything? And everybody just decided to come now. All of a sudden, everybody just has this bravado. All of a sudden, everybody has something to say. The Me Too movement came out, what, like two years ago? So why didn't they come out two years ago? Why did they come out now that this guy has been selected to be a part of the Supreme Court? Huh? Let me tell you guys something. The reason why so many white men are feeling the effects of the Me Too movement right now is this. A lot of white
white females or females in a whole did not want Donald Trump to win because of the masculinity that Donald Trump displays. You have to understand, American women don't like that type of masculinity. Remember, they wanted Hillary to win. So all this war on sexual harassment, quote unquote, it's actually a war on masculinity, be it white or black masculinity. That's what it is. And notice every time there's an issue between the sexes, they call it the battle of the sexes. It's always perpetuated by women and it's always um, continued by women. Women are the ones who came up with the slogan, anything you can do, I can do better. That was a target to men. They're always in competition with men. I don't think many females like themselves. But that's a story for another video. But this Me Too movement, I'm telling you, it's, it's only going to get worse. Remember um, Seal? We remember the singer Seal, right? He called out Oprah the other day. And I think it was the next day. I think it was the next day after he called out Oprah, this white female accused him of sexual harassment, saying that I think she went over his house, or he went over her house, their neighbors, and he tried to kiss her. Notice how that died down. I think Seal apologized to Oprah, and then that, that accuser went away. I don't think he paid her off. I don't know, but... It's funny how she just went away. If you ask me, that was just a threat to him to shut up. They're using this Me Too movement as a weapon to shut men up, to emasculate men. And my question is, men, what are you going to do? I'm telling you, the powerful men out there, they're either going to have to stop hiring females on a whole or they're gonna have to start screening females heavily they're gonna have to grow a pair of balls we cannot have women running around here just whining and complaining and protesting women don't build society women don't build shit all they do is spread their legs open and they fuck and push up babies it's just the truth I know I have female subscribers, but hey, listen, my female subscribers on my channel, I, I speak the raw truth. A lot of people don't like to hear how I talk. Uh, I'm respectfully saying and speaking the truth. Women don't build shit. Women don't build cars. Women don't fix cars. Women don't build houses. They don't do anything like that. So why... In the flying F-U-C-K are we allowing women to control us with their mouths that's all it is they're controlling the society with their mouths protesting and whining and complaining women they're not fighting wars if America should get invaded by any one of its enemy countries right now do you think women are going to be on the forefront Hell fucking no. So why in the world are we standing here watching women disrupt the progress of the country? I, I always say that women slow down the world. I'm going to do a video about that. How women slow down the world. That's what they do. They always slow down shit. Anyway, I'm out, y'all. Yeah.